Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you guys items that I've hit pan on or I've either repurchased. Um, there was a tag or is a tag going around of your products that you've hit pan on. I do have a kind of large makeup collection. Um, it's bigger than the average person, but it's not as big as a lot of people here on YouTube. But I don't really wear makeup every day. I maybe wear it three or four times a week, if that. So, um, I like to rotate out my items. I don't like to use the same things a lot. So it's hard for me to go searching for things that I've hit pan on. So I'm just going to do a combination of things I've hit pan on slash I've repurchased. There's not a lot, but they are good products. So I thought I would share them with you guys. So I'm just going to show you guys the products that I have hit pan on and I've already repurchased them um, a few times actually. So I'm just going to get started with those. The first one is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. This is an amazing contour um, powder and it's also great for um, if you have a lighter skin foundation or something like that, you can warm it up with a bronzer. Um, my packaging on the outside is kind of worn off because I've used it so much. But I've hit a decent amount of pan on this and I have repurchased it a few times. Um, I'm wearing it today as my contour for the actual contour on my temples and on my neck. Um, I love this stuff. I couldn't live without it. And if they told me that they were no longer going to be selling it, I would go out and buy as many as I possibly could because I love it that much. Um, another thing is the Revlon Nearly Naked Pressed Powder, and this is in the color Fair. This is what the packaging looks like, um, and that's what that looks like. I do like this because it makes my skin feel really soft and not cakey. When I do use it, um, it is a little expensive, but for a drugstore price. And other than that, I really, really do like it. Um, I have purchased, repurchased it. I have a backup of this. Um, also, an eyeshadow is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Single Eyeshadow in Brulee. I've repurchased this time and time again. It's really similar to a lot of high-end um, eyeshadows that are matte and creamy skin tone like. Um, like I said, I've hit pan on it. It's just a mini, mini little eyeshadow. Um, I absolutely love it for a brow highlight. Um, I don't like to put anything shimmery by my brow. I just don't think it looks great on me. So um, this is the type of shadow that I do put up there. Um, I really do like it and I recommend it. I've had my family purchase it and everything like that. Next is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I've tried the gel too. They kind of just are the same to me but um, as you can tell I've used a decent amount I've repurchased this three or four different times and I will continue to repurchase it even though it is a little bit more expensive I do enjoy this um, I do have severe dry skin and this just works amazingly I'm pretty sure it doesn't have any SPF no so um, but majority of my face products do have SPF in them okay I just have four more products for you guys um, the next thing is a Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Eraser, and this is in the Brightener shade. I repurchased this two or three times, and this is getting down there. I don't know if you guys can even tell, but it's the one with the little sponge, and I just use it for under eye concealer. Um, I do switch it out on occasion, but um, this is the one that I have been using a lot. Um, I like the Brightener shade. I've never tried the other ones, so yeah. Um, a mascara that I've purchased probably five or six different times because I love it so much and it's so cheap it's only like $2.99 and this is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara and this is just the black one um, that's what the packaging looks like and it's just a normal bristle brush but I'm wearing it today and it just does wonders for my lashes um, I do recommend this I can find it at Walgreens and my Kmart so, just at least try it. It's really cheap. Another thing that I've purchased a few times is the CoverGirl Plus Olay. My son kind of got into it, so it's kind of dirty. 
but um, this is the fair to light shade. Um, I will do a mommy tutorial here soon and show you guys um, how I use this product and stuff like that. On the days that I'm not really doing a lot and I don't feel like doing a full face of makeup, I will use this for some type of concealing. Um, but <laughs> that's how much I have left of this one. It's really creamy and like I said, I have dry skin so it works awesome. And the last thing is the Rimmel Scandalize Waterproof um, Eye Pencil, and this is in taupe. Um, just looks like this. I use it for an under, um, like a lower lash line uh, eyeliner. I don't use it in the waterline. I just use it to make it look like I have shadow down there. Um, I've purchased this. This is my second one, and I will continue to repurchase it. It's one of those products that if they told me, they were no longer going to have, I would go out to the store and purchase it. Um, it's just a taupe color, like it says, and I think it looks great with a lot of my neutral eyeshadows. Sorry, I have swatches from other things on my hands, but that's what that looks like, and like I said, I absolutely love it. And that is all that I have to show you guys. Um, you guys have probably seen my makeup collection video tour whatever um i do have a decent amount of eye products and stuff like that so and i like to try new things so i don't really hit pan on a lot of things which looking at this video i probably should start hitting pan on things before i buy anything else but yeah um i'll talk to you guys soon bye